All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office getting ready to do a video on how a judge rules the federal law banning guns with serial numbers removed is unconstitutional by Jared Gans over there at the Hill. But before we do that, big shout out to Primary Arms. Uh, we're going to do a review on this guy. This is the 1 to 6 by 24 classic. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. Classic series. So, anyway, let's do this. Um, yeah, it was pretty busy. This actually came out on 10 13 the other day. And I really wanted to do a video on it, but I didn't know how to do it justice. A federal judge blocked a federal law on Wednesday that prohibits the possession of a firearm with an altered, obliterated, or removed serial number in light of the Supreme Court's landmark ruling expanding gun rights earlier this year. All right, let's see this. A federal judge blocked a federal law on Wednesday that prohibits the possession of a firearm with an altered, obliterated, or removed serial number. U.S. District Court Judge Joseph Goodwin ruled that no historical standard exists. Ruled that no historic standard exists to demonstrate that firearms without a serial number are more dangerous or unusual than firearms with a serial number, so the law is unconstitutional. This is pretty huge. Okay, uh, the implications of this, all the uh, ghost guns, so ghost guns without uh, serial numbers. Yeah, this just, the funny thing is, is that the Democrats, the left-leaning individuals, I'm not saying all Democrats, the left-leaning individuals, they come out with as many freaking laws as they possibly can. They could care less if it's constitutional or not. It says, oh, it's just feel-good laws, the do-gooders, if you will. So he said in his ruling that he is abiding by the Supreme Court's June decision in New York State's Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin in which the court struck down a New York law placing additional limits on who can carry a firearm outside the home. And of course, New York just completely blew that thing out of the water with their new laws. Well, of course, the judge, a judge banned there, you can't carry anywhere pretty much. Uh, let's see here. The court ruled that the state's requirement to, that applicants demonstrate a special need to carry. Isn't it amazing how they, you've got to demonstrate uh, a need to exercise your God-given rights. A firearm outside the home beyond self-defense violates the Second Amendment right to bear arms. Justice Clarence Thomas wrote in a majority opinion that the regulations on firearms should be consistent with historical patterns of regulating firearms. Goodwin said in his ruling that a firearm without a serial number in 1791 was not considered more dangerous and unusual than other firearms because serial numbers were not commonly used at the time. Yes. Finally, somebody gets it. The Second Amendment was ratified as part of the Bill of Rights in 1791. The government argued that the regulation is constitutional because it is a commercial regulation that does not infringe on the right to keep and bear arms. Well, I don't know, folks. What do you think? Let me know what your thoughts are now. But Godwin, Goodwin, who was appointed to the Southern District of West Virginia by former President Clinton, ruled that the law was not a commercial regulation because it criminalizes the possession of firearms without a serial number, regardless of whether it is sold. The case arose from charges filed against a man named Randy Price for violating the regulation prohibiting the possession of firearms without serial numbers and one prohibiting felons from possessing firearms. At a traffic stop in Charleston, West Virginia, police found a pistol without a serial number in Price's possession. At the time, officers allegedly found that the pistol Price had been convicted of, or had been convicted in Ohio of involuntary manslaughter and aggravated robbery, making him a felon. Price had challenged both on constitutional grounds, right? Goodwin upheld the restriction on the felons possessing firearms. Hmm. Okay, so a lot of the purists out there who are pure constitutionists, you're going to love that one, okay? Uh, some of the people out there who feel like uh, maybe felons shouldn't have firearms, probably not going to like that one. I don't know what effect it's going to have on what's going on in the world today, but uh, any time that there's a ruling that's in favor of our Second Amendment rights, our ability to carry a concealed firearm to protect our family, and it's amazing to me that some of these, oh, I don't know, the uh, what do you call it? intellectuals, the people who never carried a firearm, don't know anything about firearms, are the ones who place judgment upon you and I because we want to protect our family. It's pretty disgusting. So with that being said, guys, uh, look forward to video coming out on the uh, Primary Arms uh, Classic. It's going to be pretty interesting to see. We're going to put that on one of our new firearms. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start shooting more three guns this week or this month coming up. And then, uh, because I could never get the Caldwell, even the Gen 2 to Gen 1 to work on my phone, I had to go out and buy a new chronograph. This is the Pro Chrono Chronograph. 
And if I can get this thing to work with a couple of the uh, my kids' little airsoft deals, we'll actually do a review on this thing because it's awesome. The boys over there at Hyde Farm stole the sleeve from me. Thanks, guys. No, I'm just joking. Um, this is probably one of the better ones I've seen, and it's economical. So with that being said, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. We're going to do another video later on today talking about how this COVID vaccine regulations or the mandate is keeping Fort Bragg soldier who just retired from military after 25 years of serving our country from receiving his awards. This is why uh, overall, what do you call it, recruitment is way down because nobody wants to work for an asshole. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.